Hey guys, welcome back. This is Bernardo from the BTN HD, and today is how to install and block updates and drivers within Windows 10. Yes. So let's get started. Uh, let's get into the Windows update part. So most likely, uh, Windows is going to be pushing out updates automatically to your machine, no matter what. It's going to push out security, critical updates, patches. Uh, it's also going to push out drivers for particular hardware that you have on your machine even though you don't want it it's going to push it out and there's always a case that an update or a patch or a driver was pushed down to your machine and is causing problems so this is how you guys unblock it and hide it or remove it now if it was a windows update you guys want to go into the start go to settings and within settings you want to go to update and security and the first option is checked off, which is Windows Update. You want to go into the Advanced Options. And within the Advanced Options, you guys want to go into View Update History. And as you can see, this is all the stuff that was already installed. Uh, uninstall Updates. Let's click on that. It brings you up to the Control Panel. And from here, let's say this particular update is causing so many problems on my machine. Just select it and click uninstall and it will remove it from your machine. Now, if you're having any problems with a specific driver, uh, the way that you get into that is you need to get into your device manager portion of your Windows 10 operating system. So you want to right click on the start menu. Let's go to device manager. Once that loads up, you find the driver or the hardware that's giving you problems. For me, let's say, just to keep it nice and simple, let's say my, my display adapter is giving me problems. And if I right click, you go to uninstall, it gets this nice little confirm device uninstall. Now, one of you are about to uninstall this device from your system, but check out the option that they give you. Delete the driver software from this device. You got to make sure you click on that. And then it would delete it and then you find the correct driver, install it, and do that stuff, right? And then you're good to go. Now, disabling uh, update drivers as well as disabling Windows updates or just basically hiding them, uh, you need to go, it, it, it's really weird because they, they kind of they hide this stuff really deep. Now, for the drivers, we want to go into the control panel, so I'm going to right-click on the start menu, and I'm going to go inside the control panel, and within the control panel, I want to navigate into the security and systems. Let me see if I can find it. Oh, systems. And once you go in systems, you want to go in advanced system settings. You guys want to go into the hardware section. And from here, you want to go into the device installation settings. And as you can see, you got the option as, as do you want Windows to download driver software and realistic icons for your device? By default, it is turned on. Yes, do this automatically. Let's say no. Let me choose what I want to do. Always install the best driver software from Windows Updates. Never install driver software from Windows Update. If you don't want Windows to manage your driver uh, updating, check this off, and then you're good to go. Okay, I'm going to cancel that. Now, for Windows Updates, Windows Updates is a little tricky, and the reason why is because, again, like I said, Microsoft is trying to push out all the updates automatically, but let's say there's a there's an update that is causing problems and you don't want your machine to grab it. Uh, Microsoft provided this cool utility. It's kind of strange that they just don't add it into the build, but uh, they gave us this utility that uh, temporarily prevents a Windows or driver update from it reinstalling in Windows. So I already downloaded it. I will provide the link of this site right here at the description. So you guys can get the copy, right? So let me minimize that. Let's double click on this, start it up. And as you can see, troubleshooting help prevent computer problems, show or hide updates. And let's click next. It's detecting any problems. I don't have any problems with any updates or drivers. So I'm assuming if you are having any problems, it will show up and then you're able to disable or hide or do whatever you need to do. Uh, I. This right here, it seems more of a troubleshooter installer. As you can see, it's a show hide updates. Uh, let's say hide updates. Windows will not install hidden updates. Show hidden updates. Select updates that you want. So this is pretty cool because if you're having issues with an update, you can hide it on the spot and it won't, you know, your machine won't grab it. It won't install it. But let's say they do 
patch that update up and you still need it because of security reasons, you could go back into this. It'd be really smart if Microsoft provides this utility in the build. Give this utility in the build. Why are you letting us download it? Sucks. So let's click hide updates. And as you can see, I could hide the definition one because it's probably, you know, sketchy. I could click on that, click next. I'm going to click next and hide it. And it's resolving the problem. And uh, it looks like I will not get the Windows Defender pushed down to this machine. Other than that, guys, that is how you uninstall block updates and drivers within the Windows 10 operating system. If you have any questions or concerns, leave it at the bottom of the video. Don't forget about hitting that like button because it does support this guy as well as the video. And I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace out.